event. Wow, what a nice thing to say. Mr. Sean Wheelock is in the house. He is our guy that is coming to help and Mr. Light will be giving us the business when these guys are in their fight and they let us know who's winning, who's losing, what they need to do to fix that fight, get back. How are you, baby? Oh, I'm great. Thank you so much for having me. So oh my God, to it's you. always exciting, baby. Tomorrow, our main event, let's just talk about it. What needs to happen on both sides? Yeah, it, rematches are so interesting. On uh, the last bare knuckle that we had, Paige Van Zandt versus Rachel Ostovich was a rematch from MMA from the UFC to bare knuckle. This is a straight rematch. There's always an interesting psychology though in rematches because the fighter who won always thinks to themselves, I beat this opponent before, I know how to do it, I'm gonna beat them again. The opponent flips that and says, I lost the first time, but now I've seen my opponent at his or her best. I know the corrections to make. This is going to be my fight. Reggie Barthes, though, told me something really interesting. He said, this isn't a rematch. I've grown as a person. I've grown as a fighter. I'm going to be completely different in his mouth. Johnny Bedford said to me, I'm the bigger fighter. I'm the more talented fighter. Same result as last time. Wow. Coming from both sides. How excited does that make you to see, want to see this fight tomorrow? Yeah, I'm, I'm just thrilled. You know, I've been so fortunate. I've been with Fair Knuckle Fighting Championship since the beginning. This is our 20th show. You throw until the line. We've done 22 events, well over 200 fights now, closing in on 300 fights. This is the greatest promotion. This is the fastest growing combat sport in the world. It's really, I'm, I'm honored to be here and get to go around the country and around the world I talking about right. fights. So how does it feel bringing on Mr. Belcher? We have watched him at MMA and the UFC, just like Mr. Lopez. How does it feel to be able to see them two get matched up tomorrow? I think that's gonna be an exciting fight. When I was doing my fighter interview with Alan Belcher, I said, just for me personally as a commentator, one thing that's been so great for the fighting championship is, you know, I commentated MMA in Pride, I commentated in Bellator, I never commentated for the UFC. So there were so many fighters who I really admired. Mm -hmm. Now I have had a chance to commentate. My broadcast partner now, Chris Lytle, Chris Lieber, Leonard Garcia, uh, Alan Belcher. That's really satisfying for me. You know, Alan Belcher looks like a natural heavyweight. I was just saying that to Chris Lytle at the weigh-ins. It's difficult to think that he is so lean and heavyweight at 230 pounds that he fought 185. He doesn't look like a blown up 85 or 205 or he looks like a legitimate heavyweight. Tony Lopez from our BKFC One Show. There are actually four fighters on this show. Lopez, Lewis Rumsey, um, uh, Johnny Bedford, and Reggie Barnett, who are at BKFC One in June of 2018. Lopez said, I'm going to come out, I'm going to open it up, and he's going to just step forward and throw. I think that's a great co-main event. I think so, too. I am sad that we do not have a girl fight on the card. I'm sorry, ladies, that your fight is not on the card this time, but we're going to be looking for y'all. Who who do you think we might see next against Paige? Yeah, that we were talking about that at dinner last night. That's really interesting. And you looked at how stacked the women's 125 pound division is. You could do a, an eight fighter female tournament and I don't even know who you would see one or eight because they're all really, really good. Rachel Ostovich comes in, she's changed the equation. Christine Faria still stands as such a dominant fighter. Um, you look at, at Taylor Starling, who I commentated in MMA weirdly against Jenny Savage on oh, UFC really? Fight Pass a few years ago with Chris Lytle. And now Taylor Starling has emerged really from a quiet signing to the breakout star of the female division with Paige Van Zanther, with Britton Hart there. It is absolutely stacked. I, you, know, you, you look at that talent, Pearl Gonzalez, who I commentate icon with, it is absolutely loaded. More fighters are signing. I just hope that we see more female fights on the card soon. I do too. Let me ask you a question. This is probably out your realm. But do you think we'll see Helen Peralta again? I have no idea. I'm not privy to that information. I think that's a different wing of the company. Yeah. Personally, I think Helen is great. I knew her from MMA. I have not commentated, but I watched her actually in person in Kansas City fight in Victor. I think she's fantastic. I like her a lot as a person. I, I don't know what they're doing promotionally with Helen or any of the contracts, but I, I think she's great. It would be my pleasure to commentate her again. And do do we know exactly when Christine is come, is going, going to be walking again? I, I do not know that. Dang, I thought I was going to uh, get us some nuggets, y'all, from uh, Mr. Uh, Wheelock. Wake up, he usually give, give us nuggets. He gave us some great ones, but... Mr. Wheelock, it's always a pleasure to watch Thank you do so what nice. you do, baby. Thank you so much. Thank you, it's my baby. my pleasure. Thanks all of you watching.